hands together for Robert Puncher, please. Robert Puncher! You guys are fun. I like you guys. Let me, uh, I want to share this with you, because I got into an argument with a friend today who's a hunter, and he referred to himself as a sportsman, and I don't like that, because in my opinion, hunting is not a sport, it's a waste of time. <laughs> like, a better name for it would be surprise killing. <laughs> In essence, that's what it is. And if we're being really generous, like maybe we can call hunting an athletic activity. It's sort of like shuffleboard or the WNBA. It's not quite a real sport. But if hunting is a sport, then it's the only sport where only one participant knows he's competing. Think about that for a second. The deer doesn't know. Like, I guarantee you, no deer wakes up in the morning and looks at his wife and goes, Oh, hey, honey, I think I'm going to go catch some bullets with the boys before work. <laughs> and the wife's like, oh, Okay, deer. <laughs> so well. It's not, not how it happens, guys. Uh, not just because deer don't communicate through clever puns, but because the deer doesn't know he's about to be shot in the face. <laughs> Like, I guarantee you that thought does not cross his mind until after the bullet does. What's, what's a lot more likely is the deer wakes up in the morning and he looks at his wife and then bang! Bang! They're both shot from 50 yards out by an overweight white guy with a mullet and a rifle and an alcohol dependency problem. And then that guy gets to call himself an athlete. That's not fair, guys, because I'm an athlete. Uh, I wrestled for 13 years, which is very confusing for me because wrestling is a sport that combines fighting with competitive cuddling. It's, it's a sport where you put on tights and knee pads and you argue with the guy for 10 minutes about who's going to be on top. Uh, it's very gay, is the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> Like, even the move names in wrestling are gay. Let me give you an example. I'll walk you through a typical match. What might happen is off the whistle, your opponent might shoot a high crotch on you. <laughs> so what you want to do is you sprawl out and you shove his head down. <laughs> but he's just going to suck you right back up in. He does that. You hit him with a nice stiff wizard. The windmill out of that, so you funk him. <laughs> you funk him real good. <laughs> That, that puts you on top, you're on top, you pop your hips, start to ride, and this guy wearing him down, maybe throwing some legs until you catch him on his back. He doesn't want to be on his back, but you want him on his back. And you hold him there, and you finish him off. That's how you win a match, guys. But I'm competitive. <laughs> 